Hello to you both and welcome. Hi, Hello. thank you Hi. for having us today. Oh, it's so great to have you here. This story just fascinates me. Paula, I, I know that there are a lot of twists and turns to, to your journey, but can you tell us a little bit about what led you on the on this quest? I think it was generally always wanting to know who your family was and where you came from. I always had this feeling since I found out when I was 15 that I needed to know who my biological father was. And it took many years, and I guess eventually DNA, the 23andMe and Ancestry became available. So I thought, I'm going to give it a go. The best thing is to do 23andMe and see if I can find somebody that could help me bring me a little bit closer to where I came from. Yeah, and it wasn't a direct line, was it? No, I attached with, I think she would be like really what's considered a second cousin once removed. She was younger, she was in college, and I messaged her, she messaged me back, and we had a little bit of communication, and then some year, a year and a half went blank, and it, I was upset about it because I thought, you know, maybe she brought this forward to her family and was like, you know what, we don't want to go there, let's not open those doors, so I just kind of figured, okay, that's the end of my journey for that. Okay, now I want to bring Heather into the conversation here. Heather, what was your relationship like with, with Paula before you found out you were sisters? Well, since I had met her um, through a mutual friend, and then we just started becoming very close through the years. Um, our husbands both got along really good, started doing vacations with them, barbecues, um, hanging out quite a bit. Um and, you know, all our kids had already met that type of thing, not knowing that we were actually related and this was their aunt. And <laughs> Well, and in traveling with the photographs and such, Paula, you, you were actually, people would actually say, oh, are you two sisters? I know. We had many times that we had gone away. Just some of the things that we did seemed to be very similar in nature. And I guess some people caught on to that. And we just kind of chuckled about it and just thought, okay, you know, that's just the way we are, right? Not knowing that we are definitely sisters at that time. Right. Okay. Now, each of you named one of your children Taylor. Yes. Was, was that <laughs> coincidental? Was that before yes. you met? Yes. 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 Really? Well, because... it wasn't before we met, but it was before... Oh, yeah. We were close enough that we kind of knew each other, you know. Okay, okay. But it wasn't as if you had conversations. I really like no. this name. I really <laughs> no. like this name. No. Two, but there's a girl, Taylor, a, t a Taylor girl and a Taylor boy. Yeah. Yes, and they're one year in age difference. Really? Yes. Okay, okay. Then take us take us to the moment when you when you realize that that Heather is more than a friend. When I was at my aunt and uncle's and we're going through all the information that I received from um, Tanya, who would have been the younger girl's mom, that did her DNA to realize that she did attach to me, um, and helped me over three months. We went through a little bit, quite a bit of names, histories. That this person, this person. And then we realized when I was at my aunt and uncle's, because my mom had seen, said the name Rick, but she couldn't give me any further details because she was young at that time and it was tough at that time. And sitting down at the tables, my aunt and uncle, my uncle all of a sudden remembered when I said Barker, he goes, oh, Rick Barker, right? That's that poor young man that your mom, grandma chased away down the stairs with a frying pan when your mom was pregnant. So I was like, oh. That must be my dad because that's named in Tanya's uh, the history search of the brothers when we realized there was four Barker brothers. And then my aunt had said, well, let's see if we can find an obituary. So we pulled up the obituary and sure enough, there was the details that Tanya gave us. In the um, in the emails, it, it reflected the uh, obituaries in Burnaby, Capitol Hill, and we realized the age was one year older than my mom, so we figured this had to be person Rick Barker. And I looked at it, and Tanya had remembered the, the son's name, Keith, but couldn't co quite remember the daughter's name because they had moved away. But then I seen the, the grandkids' he, names. Okay. <laughs> And the grandkids' names reflected Heather's kids. Right. So I was like, I, w I walked up, and I, I remember going into the washroom, and I came out, and I was yelling, oh, my God, it's Heather. It's Heather. Heather. And everybody's looking at me like, what are you talking about? I said, 
Heather's my sister. And my husband's like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, Rick and Heather, Heather's my sister. And he's like, what are you talking, right? And I'm like, these are her children. This Heather has to be my sister. Oh, my. Okay, so what was the first conversation like with Heather? Well, I had messaged her, call me ASAP, right? And all of a sudden, the phone rang, like, super quick. And I said to her, Heather, who is Tanya Sharman? So she would have been the cousin back east. And she's like, well, that's my cousin. And I said, well, no, that's my cousin, too. And she's like, what? And I said, who's your dad, Heather? And she's like, Rick Barker. And then all of a sudden I heard. <laughs> well, I can't say that on air, but I was just in shock. Like, what is happening? Like, I don't believe this. This is Are you like punking unbelievable. Me? So, yeah, it was quite a shock. Oh, yeah. but, but you were following as a friend, yeah. following Paula's path here in her search for, right. for answers. And you were just being a supportive friend along the way. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically. Just, yeah, I had no idea that that would ever come about. Like, how would you ever think that? Exactly. Now, there, there's another part to the story, and that is when Rick Barker, your, your both of your father, but you didn't know it at the time, Heather, when when he was he was ailing uh, on Vancouver Island, right? And, and then, and then Paula, you're watching this unfold, thinking yeah. I'm going to support my friend yes. who's wants to be with her dad. Yes. Yeah, but had no idea. So, yeah. which is unfortunate. We didn't find out sooner, you know. But because we know that both of our parents, like with my mom, she it really stressed her out and and it really depressed her all the years that I was always searching for answers and she couldn't give them to me. And then you know, hearing you know, listening to Heather and going through what she was going through with her dad, and you know, he had some illnesses, you know, that cut his life short. And knowing that she was going over there to say goodbye to her dad, not knowing that was actually my father too. And we do know that the way my mom felt, my mom would be so happy oh, with the outcome. Yeah. And Heather says uh, that I'm absolutely 100% my dad would have been over the moon happy to find out he had another daughter. So so how, what has this meant for your friendship now? I mean, Paula, how, how have things changed since you, you know your half-sisters? Immensely, um, because when my mom passed away in 2015, it was like the most devastating time in my life. And I was struggling every year. And I have three kids. And I kept feeling I had to pull myself together for Easter and for Christmas and Thanksgiving. And then when I found out that Heather was my sister... It was like, it was like my whole life changed because Heather's mom, I call her Mama Joyce, and and her mom was with my, our dad three months. We figured after my mom, oh my that's when when <laughs> her mom met our dad. And You're still piecing together <laughs> all of yeah, the pieces. Yeah, Heather. Heather, what about for you? How has this revelation affected your life? Well, obviously, it's pretty incredible um, to have all this new family and even for my two daughters to have new um, cousins that they've, you know, met before, but now obviously become closer with to see the, you know, her daughter and my daughter go up snowboarding together now and they're just, you know, have new family and new aunt. It's been really exciting for everyone and everyone gets along really well. So, and it's, it's been pretty incredible. It is incredible. And Paula, I mean, I know, as I said, this was not a straight line sort of from, from A to B for you. You, you spent a lot of years um, trying to track down your, your history and, and your father. Would you have any advice for, for someone who is going down that, that searching path, uh, even, you know, deciding to, to include DNA in the search? Well, one of the things was definitely was like to do all the DNAs um, that are out there because you don't know what one person might do between ancestry and say 23 and me. Um, for myself, it's just keep looking, right? Like for some people, you know, it, 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 they're okay with maybe not moving forward. But for me, I always felt like I needed to know. And I say to everybody, I hit the jackpot. I don't think it could have turned out any better 
for our lives. Our lives are, are spectacular. Like we do everything together. It just revitalized <laughs> everything that I feel that we do together. And it's made us closer. And we sit there together still and, and go, oh, my God, we're sisters. How is this? <laughs> How did we not know when we look back at our pictures? And it's like, yeah, we should have yeah. known. But yeah. it's pretty obvious yeah. when I sit here. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, I think, oh, I'm so happy for the two of you. Thank you I, so I much. really thank am. You. And thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story. Thank really you. great Appreci to meet you both. Appreciate it. You appreciate it so much. Thank, thank you. you. That's Paula Blanchard and Heather Barker, best friends for 20 years, and now they're half-sisters, too. What a story. 